Hi friends, today for Letterland we're going to do some review and we're also going to learn something new. So our review is this ing at the end. Do you remember what that says all together? Ing. That's always at the end of a word. So instead of saying bike, I would say biking. Or instead of just saying walk, I would say walking. Right? So it gets added to the end. That's an ing. Our new sound that goes together is nk at the end of a word. So you, they both talk, they both speak. Nk, nk. That's at the end of words like drink, right? Nk. Our new concept is our best friend concept. Did you know that Lucy Lamplay, Sammy Snake, and Firefighter Fred are best friend at the end of some words? They're best friends at the end of words so that they can help protect those open vowels. I'm going to show you some examples of some words right now where they are best friends at the end of a word. For example, if you looked at this word right here, gr ass. If you look at that word, it doesn't look quite right, does it? Why is that? The A is all by itself without a friend, so that Sammy Snake comes and doubles up at the end to protect that vowel. So Sammy Snake, Lucy Lamplater, and Firefighter Fred like to double up at the end of words that are after A and I. Let's look at another example. That doesn't look quite right either. So A and I, when I is by itself, Firefighter Fred doubles up to help protect that letter. So we have cliff and grass. Can you think of another word that is doubled up at the end? Hmm. Need another letter for Lucy Lamplater to protect at the end. That's the word smell. We also can have the word st if. So when there is an open vowel like that, sometimes we have best friends that come at the end to help protect that vowel. This week's all about best friends, guys. So you're going to see those double letters at the end of the word. You're also going to see ing words and nk words today. Okay, so keep an eye out for those with this week's Letterland and Spelling Test. Have a great day.